We've had five players, Thomas, who are going to be leaving us this summer. I mean, you've asked, you've already asked, answered a lot of questions about Johan know, Barbe and um, Josh McEachern and, and Lewis McLeod, and Jack Bond has been out on loan at, at Bristol Rovers. We've allowed him to go, and Moses Sardabajo, we haven't taken up um, the option on, on his contract. So, give just a word from you about, about those guys who won't be with us next season. Yeah, first and foremost, I want to want to thank you, thank them uh, for for hard work for uh, many many years for a lot of them, some some of them uh, less um, less years being here in the, at the at the club, but all five have done massively from the club, and um, I think it's important that we praise them for that, and we wish them all the best. Jack have been here almost six years of, uh, around the club. I just spoke to him this this morning. He's looking forward to go out, you know, to play even more regularly football. He did that this year with Bristol Rovers. So I'm just wishing him all the best rest of his career. Um, uh, Josh and Louis and, and Johan have been here for four years, all of them. Uh, we've been so pleased and so happy for, for the work they put in. And some of them played more than others for various reasons. But they only had one aim to, to help the club. Mo here the last year, done very well in terms of coming back from a long injury after two years. Now he's, he's fit, ready, 27 start, including cup games, is, is massive, helped the club. So all five of them just want to thank them and, and wish them all the best. Were those tough decisions? It, it, always tough decisions, but you know, it's, it's a combination of, of uh, us and them taking a good decision which will benefit them and the club. So, so sometimes it just turns out to not be the right uh, decision to, the, the, for them to stay. Um, so that, that's how it is. It's, it's, it's football. Some stay, some move on. The squad towards the end of the season, the first team squad towards the end of the season, had, was, was relatively small in numbers, yeah. partly for, um, for strategic reasons. We chose not to, uh, not to take too many players on. But with those players leaving as well, there's going to be lots of gaps in the, in the squad to fill. Is that exciting or is that worrying? No, I, think it, I always think it's a little bit exciting. Uh, again, with the, with the staff members coming in, the B team head coach and the, 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 the new individual developing coach, that, that extra freshness that's going to you know, change the dynamic a little bit in the group. I think every squad needs that uh, once in a while. Uh, of course, I want to keep um, as many, but now there's natural gaps where we need to fill in uh, new players and that will, that will help the new dynamics in, in the team. You've been in football long enough to know the, the summer transfer rumour mill. Are you, is it beyond expectation to keep everybody else? Uh, yeah, I think besides top six in, in England, maybe Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern, PSG, everybody else is selling clubs um, in a way. A lot of clubs, including us, want to keep our best players. That is the main aim, to keep our best players, uh, to keep all of them and build from there. But if somebody is leaving, for whatever reason, and I know it's only if Matthew gets the right price, we get the right price, uh, then there's one aim, that is to, to get a new player in who is minimum at the same level so we can progress and keep going up. I would never ask you for names and you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell me anyway, but Work presumably for this transfer window has, all, has already been done. Well, fans love when a player puts pen to paper. Do you think we might see anything soon? Hopefully. Uh, it's, uh, I can put all the pressure on Phil and Rasmus on this one. And now uh, we know they are working very, very hard uh, with all of us together to find the right players. They've done a lot of work the last four months preparing this uh, transfer window uh, coming up. So uh, we will see what happened uh, the next uh, couple of weeks. But. Uh, we know we have some, some, some places we need to, to fill and, and hopefully people are coming in uh, rather so sooner rather than later. And has the squad been built on what you mentioned a little while ago in terms of you want to have two systems? So you've got the 4-3-3 and you've got the 3-4-3. Three, three. Are you working with Phil, Rasmus, Matthew, everyone, everyone involved? Are you working on that basis that you want to have the players to be mm. able to switch between the two? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that demands, for example, centre-backs could be sometimes you can have enough with four if you play 4-3-3. Three, three. But if you play with three, you need maybe at least five uh, centre backs. So that's that's a small change. But then the different types of of players we have uh, in the midfield or some of the tens can play various uh, so we various positions. So we are very aware of making sure we have enough of the right types to fill in the right positions um, in terms of that. So it's, it's quite a, a, a puzzle. What do you think you need to do to bridge the gap between 11th and the, and the top six next season? Um, 
continue working with what we are good at, continue improving our philosophy, style of play every single day out there on the training pitch, continue to develop this fantastic culture we have among the boys in, the, in, this, in this dressing room. Um, that need, that, uh, that's the small teachers need to improve every single day. But I would say one thing that we maybe we need to do even better is that we need to conceive less goals. Very, very, very simple. Uh, but there's a lot of details underneath that. Because if we want to go up, we score a lot of goals. That's not the issue, we need to concede less. The way record? If we do that, the way record will be better. Of course, a, we, for me, yes, I know it's been a problem this season, but I don't think it has any t anything to do with we are playing away. It's, it's other, other areas in the team we need to, to be better to manage to stay in the game if you concede a goal. Um, uh, how can we get through the bad spells that, that are in, in every game? And yes, when you play away, there can maybe be longer spells or more pressure from the, from the, fan, from the opposition pa fans. Uh, but that, that's aspects I think we show uh, this year. Um, I think we played some very good away games where we could have gone more, got, got more out of it. Millwall away, Birmingham away, Bristol City away. No, yeah, Bristol City away. Uh, many games where we could have got more uh, than we did. Leeds away, we are this close to win. So for me, it's marginal. Uh, that will that will do the difference, but we we are aware of it and we want to improve it next year. What we also have going on around the club next season is the final year at Griffin Park and then the move the move to a to a new stadium. How important is it going to be for everyone here at Jersey Road to try and not worry too much about that? You've got there'll be celebrations, there'll be all sorts of things going on, but you've still got forty six league games to play. Yeah, and we, we're looking forward to that. We. In a, in, a, in a way, we'll miss Griffin Park, of course. It's one of the, uh, one of the oldest stadiums in, 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 in England, and uh, I would say an iconic uh, one, uh, and we need to get the best out of it. I'm um, looking forward to do everything we can, every single day, to make the last season at Griffin Park magical, and we can only do that if we do it together. Us, players, fans, everybody, and make it an um, unbelievable season. And finally, what does the, the summer hold for you? Do you get any days off? Uh, a few, I think. Uh, now I need to. Uh, I need to, of course, spend time with my family, uh, recharge the batteries, make sure the brain are fresh to think again when we're when we starting up. So, yeah, I'm looking to get away a couple of weeks with the family and a week on my own in, in Denmark, visiting family and, 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 and friends. And then I'm looking forward uh, to, to start up here again with with everybody at Jersey Road and do everything we can to make an even better season than this season. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.